What's up, hippo lovers? It is time for another WTF happened in. This time talking about what happened in June 2020. And the list is really long this time. Oh, I just remember I didn't prepare the, the clip of the month. But we will, we will find them. Um, probably you will have to jump like 15 seconds on YouTube. And yeah. The hippo is on the first topic, Liquipedia. Some of you might never have heard of it. It is basically a news ticker website. Initially introduced for StarCraft 1 and nowadays we have several g big games. It is my go-to website when I try to search for results when it comes to Counter-Strike. You can go there for StarCraft 2 and lol dota and everything else that you desire they have mass amount of games and now we are about to get into the main phase there or out of the alpha phase when it comes to age of empires 2 this is really nice because not only gives it as an overview over all the tournaments it is a life tracker as well you can see about players when are they born their profiles it is just very very lovely maybe i will just uh, show it uh, show it to you right and yeah this is basically the site and yeah you can simply see Winchester is now part of Team Salt and we have a Olympics Deathmatch World Cup is going on Battle of Africa already happened Hidden Cup we can click it those are the prize pools all nice those are players the full bracket and then you can think oh there's um, one guy here that uh, it's looking pretty nice the viper well maybe i click on his profile then you can see old tournament results and everything and this is just so nice and you can also see like okay upcoming matches nearly against the code for example then you have a timer there that's just really sweet and a, a big step in my opinion towards yeah being more informed in general and then we had at the very start of June, I believe. Yeah, the Battle of Africa finals. And as you know, we can just click on Liquipedia and we can now see that Aftermath in a very sick final. 1-5-4 there in the end against Team Secret. And you saw that Slam won his series. We had Nikov losing his one and they traded off games. Nice comeback there in the end from Aftermath. It was just so crazy in game nine the decision and yeah in the end taking the eight thousand dollars gg well played viewer numbers were pretty good uh, great feedback towards mr Mamp, who was the face of the tournament Crazini did an incredible job behind the scenes and yeah just a very nice team game tournament the first real test and with a bang of a series, so Omi there in a nice semi-final, surely as well against Aftermath. So two great series there to finish it off Saturday and Sunday. Lovely, lovely stuff. Which brings us to the next tournament that is also sponsored by Microsoft. A deathmatch tournament. Deathmatch, as you all know, we're starting post imperial age. Every resource already, res every tech already researched. Mass amount of resources, instant action, uh, action, and we had a full qualification. Are uh, now already in kind of the round of eight in the winner bracket, and you can see lots of big names here and yeah that will just develop throughout the full july 31st of july is the start of the finals first and second of august is coming up after that and yeah ten thousand dollar prize pool you can see the split if i scroll up here and yeah fighting for all those nice dollaros the big surprise there was Tedo already beating the seed number three mr true the winner of DM World Cup 1, third place in DM World Cup number 2. The Viper still in this one, the big favorite for this tournament. And a big, big thing is Viper moved away from Twitch, uh, moved away from Mixer, now back on Twitch. Sick viewer numbers there. Like first stream, he had 1.5k subs, 5k viewers, like every day people are showing up and... He probably is the greatest entertainer in Age of Empires when it comes to like playing like the highest level. He can read chat. It's just so much to to simply go for them. And <clears throat> well, great, great viewer numbers there for him. And for Twitch, obviously everyone's super happy that they're back. Mixer actually 
shutting down and I think they are going into Facebook gaming now. That was something completely unrelated to the Viper though. And yeah, who also is making a comeback and not only to Twitch but in general to Age of Empires is Mr. Jordan and people went apeshit crazy happy and if you are relatively new to the scene jordan is a guy that started playing and came kind of became famous in like 2013 joined the scene there and he kind of rose with the viper and he clearly was a top three player and there was an epic series a best of 21 that jordan won in 11 10 and there was like the craziest thing happening there the viper considered to be number one and jordan Probably considered to be, some people say, number one. In my opinion, he's like a top three player at that time and was part of Team Tyrant of Secret in all those times as well. And one of the most enjoyable characters as well. Smiling so much, laughing so much, enjoying his life. And he quit his job to now become a full-time streamer. And I think that will start in August as well then. He's already starting to stream some had his uh, first stream this week. And yeah. People, people just enjoying him so, so much. And that's going to be a lot of entertaining. Very good friends with the Viper. So we, we will see a lot there. And what we will also see is a new matchmaking from Microsoft. They came up with wild new ideas. And first of all, map pool is now changed from nine maps to seven maps. Then we will starting in, I think it's called the July patch. We have a split map pool. DM RM which is really good for DM and also now you have three bands and you can have a favorite map so if if some people are matching each other it won't like go through all the maps okay that those aren't banned but if both players have the same have a favorite map for example Arabia you can go for it will get people that want to play Arabia most likely into it especially if they face people that also want to play arabia and you also have the option to go for random civilization if both players agree to go for random civilization both can do that that's going to be really really nice for them and yeah i think a, a great great change that's going to happen in july and well i will show you the clip of the month i already know which two clips i want to show you uh, hopefully I will find them quickly. I couldn't really decide on one and Hera AOC changed to Hera now as well if you don't know that. Uh, he had one of the two clips that I want to show. Mm. Now if you're on YouTube you probably want to skip like 30 seconds. Uh, not really happy. Where are those? Schedule videos. Highlights popular clips. And now I want to see in the last 30 days. Yes. And that one. Oh boy. Okay. Mm, I will think I will give you that full screen even. From Mr. Hera and I will give you that in front and I will even give it in front of my camera. I, I, I didn't see it coming at all, honestly. And it's like a quick wall that I didn't. Di yeah, just take a look. Good luck in McDonald's, Larry. Yes, <laughs> but this villager will die. Worth it for the style. Worth it. She didn't die. I I didn't see that one coming. Right. Like out of nowhere, how did he do that? Like he, the scout is just passing, right? And like to start, honestly, to start with that first palisade, I thought like, what is this kid doing? And then he creates a base around this absolutely crazy to me I, I, I that that was just really really well done by him surely and i will now jump to mbl aoc who in my opinion had an even crazier oh god what is mbl i will need to go to him insane actually mm, he's actually streaming live 
and videos he had such a such a nice clip as well and yeah i should have probably prepared those mm -hmm. and yeah that's that's the one holy guacamole holy guacamole i didn't that's another one that i didn't see coming one, two, three, four. But I'm boom! Fucking outplayed him the fuck out of there. Get out! Get out! <laughs> this guy! Well look at look at how he, how much he was pressured! Yeah, I was I was a bit too hyped, oops. Oops. I got a bit over One, two, three, four. But I'm boom! Fucking outplayed him the fuck out of there. Get out. <laughs> okay, and yeah, those were my clips of the month. And therefore, Hippo instantly goes to what's going to happen in July. The look at here, we will have Clowns Cup number three, uh, roughly $1,100 arena only tournament, and all the big names that sign up doubt. Mm, I don't know. MBL. The Viper and yeah, that's going to happen and will end I think the last weekend of July. So I think finals are there 25th and 26th and pure arena with a lot of map drafts. So you should see some diversity, something you want to watch. And then AL, AUE Olympics, a $7,000 tournament will continue over the next, I think, two, three months. It's basically a mix of 1v1, 2v2, 4v4. And you can only sign up with team members of your own nation. Everyone will collect medals for them. It's like 60, 70 mini tournaments, basically. And then you will have an overview who got who, how many medals. And, well, then the prize pool will be split in that one. Really nice as well. 1v1s started and 2v2 started as well. Then there will be second round of 1v1s. So if you want to cheer for your country, want to see like, oh, I'm from an exotic country and always wanted to follow some, this is probably your place to go. And yeah, lots of big names participating there as well. There wasn't that much big interest, but then the Chinese sponsor, I think also added 5K, the 50K sponsor that we talked about last year time and dm world cup will come to a conclusion you don't want to miss that one and yeah that was it from wtf happened i hope you will tune in and yeah just excited for what's going to happen in july now the q a over at twitch goodbye hippo lovers <laughs>